Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the SQUH Nursing Educational Video. My name is Mi'ad Al Wahabi. I'm staff nurse working in Family Medicine and Public Health Department. In this video, I'm going to talk about vaccination process for adult and pediatric. Vaccine is a biological preparation that provides active immunity to a particular infectious diseases. Adult vaccination is running three times a week. Mantox test is done for pre-employment, contact screening with TB, overseas, and other referred patients by the doctor. Other vaccines are given according to vaccination protocol. Identify the patient according to hospital identification policy. Check for any contraindications. Explain the procedures and expected local side effects of the injection, such as painful erythematous or nodular reaction at the injection site. Perform hand hygiene. Prepare the equipments. Counter check the vaccine with other staff to ensure correct vaccine. Inject the vaccine intramuscularly in the left deltoid muscle. Observe the site for bleeding and apply air strip. Dispose wastes as per hospital waste management policy. Perform hand hygiene. Record in the immunization card and EPR. For pediatric vaccination, we are following the expanded program for immunization from Ministry of Health. The pediatric vaccination run twice a week in the clinic. Vaccines are provided according to the immunization schedule in the child health card from age of two months till age of 24 months. The process of pediatric vaccination will follow the same process of adult vaccination. But for the pediatric, we have to measure weight, length, head circumference, and temperature to assess the child's growth and well-being. The site of the injection will be in the left intralateral thigh. After the vaccination is done, we will instruct the parents about expected reactions such as fever, local redness, swelling, and pain to bring the child to the local health center for any adverse reaction. To give paracetamol as prescribed, date of the next vaccination will be given. Finally, record in the immunization card, MR2 register, and in the EPR. Before ending this video, I would like to highlight the following points. Vaccination are given according to eligibility criteria. For any adverse reaction, patient is advised to report to our clinic in working hours or to the nearest health center. In case the child or adult has a previous reaction to any vaccine, they are advised to stay in the treatment room to observe for any reaction and to take the needed action. That was general idea about vaccination. Thank you for watching.